All right. So today, what we're going to do here, we have slight issues with the Cayman. And when I mean slight, I mean slight. Um, so if you don't know, we used the little spacers for the oxygen sensors because we no longer have Cali converters. So we use these, right? And the Cali converter, or the oxygen sensor screws into here. Then this fools it into thinking there's a catalytic converter, right? So you can run the straight pipes or whatever you want. Now, on a lot of cars, what we had to do in the past, since this is a pretty small hole, we've had to drill that out. And what we're getting here is a oxygen sensor error or converter error uh, for reading too slow for bank one. If you don't know, on the 987 cars, bank one is the passenger side if you're left-hand drive, right? If you're right-hand drive, if you're in UK or Japan, then it's on the driver's side. But it's on the same side no matter what. Here in the US, is on the passenger side. So we're getting that. But it's not very often we're getting. It's very rare. But still, it's annoying. And we're going to fix that. So let's go ahead and, I guess, get up on the lift. And it shouldn't take you just a second here. We're going to take it out and drill it out. All right. So what we're going to do here is, first of all, turn on the light. Turn the light, and we just took the, the wheel off. So to get to the primary oxygen sensor, you can just jack the car up. Get to the secondary, which is right here, you pretty much gotta take the wheel off. We'll take our West Virginia socket set here. I joke about that, but I'm totally joking. Lefty Lucy. And we're just gonna pull that. It should have screwed real easy with your fingers now. So we just had it all out and we put it back in. Let me put this down, I'll show you. Right here, it's out. Whenever we reinstall this, what we're gonna do to trick that. Okay, so I think we're big enough on this. See our difference in the holes. We just drilled that one. The light's just all wrong here. You see the size of the hole in that. So we went about I don't know, at least double. That was a, a 2160 force. Now we could go bigger, but the problem is gonna be, we're kind of as big as you could get without getting into the taper of that. So I think it should be fine. What we're gonna do here before we install it, so we don't have to freaking unplug this, cause it's a bitch to unplug, is here's our oxygen sensor wire. We're gonna back twist it backwards about six turns so whenever we start it and then we tighten it up we end up about right we'll straighten it all out start with and then count about six turns back that'll keep us from having to unplug that because it's the real pain in the ass on here put the wheel back on that's pretty much it all right so we just put everything back together i'm going to show you the code that was thrown so you guys know i'm going to drive this car today since it's really nice you can see outside out the window you probably can't see on this camera uh it's like 73 degrees today and sunny. So perfect day to drive the Porsche. And today's our first day of Missouri deer season. So I don't want to drive this thing anywhere close to dark or towards evening. Because chances of hitting a deer is about 99%. Okay, so here's where we're at. Warm up catalyst efficiency bank one blow threshold. And now we actually have a evaporative emission system leak. Can you guys even see that? Come on, GoPro. What are you even doing? There you go. Uh, detect a large leak. I've never got P0455, but the first one is P0421. So you know if you did this mod with no cats and you put the spacers on there and you're getting the P0421, that's what the deal is. Now, let's go ahead and reset the EVAP code. See if that comes back. And if it does, we might have another issue. We might have a leak at the gas tank EVAP system. So that's pretty much a sum of it. Always something. However, how much do you want to bet? How much do you want to bet? Whatever EVAP issue, that comes back. There's something unplugged. There's something not pushed in correctly. Something hooked up wrong because somebody's been there messing with stuff. How much you, I'm going to lay money on it, right? This car has the same code, EVAP, tighten the gas cap every so often. 
just hadn't had time to check it. We need to go on the lift and check it out. It's always 90% of the time with these German cars because somebody's been messing with something. That's going to be it, guys. The Porsche is back up and running. We're still waiting on the exhaust tips. Don't even get me started on that. Guy taking forever to ship stuff. This coming week, hell or high water, we will have straight pipes on the Cayman. That's going to be it. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. We'll see you later.